And for more on some of tonight's top stories, Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume joins us. Britt, great to have you with us. Thank you, Shannon. Glad to do it. I want to go back to this story where we've gotten a lot of breaking news through the afternoon and evening today on this actor, Jussie Smollett. Uh, a lot has been made of what we do know, what we don't know in this case. Um, but there's been this big discussion about this idea of victimhood and how it's become very attractive to a lot of people out there. I want to read something from Jason Manning. Um, he's the author of The Rise of Victimhood Culture. He's quoted in a National Review article saying this, perpetrators might not even think of them as false accusations since in many cases they see it as an attempt to draw attention to a real problem. To the extent that modern society increasingly valorizes victimhood, claiming victim status through outright lies will become more attractive. Right? what do you make of that? Well, I think that might be, you know, we don't know what was in uh, young Mr. Smollett's mind and heart in this case. Uh, what we do know is, of course, he's gone from being a victim to a suspect uh, and is now clearly firmly under investigation for filing a false police report. And you know, I, I do think it's possible that someone who has so much going for him in life had to have some powerful motivation to make him attempt something as risky as is this scheme, if that's what it turns out to have been. And I think that idea that you were making an application for victimhood, which is, can be a pretty good deal in America, might well be the reason. I mean, we do now make heroes out of victims. And this has been going on for some time. It's one thing, you know, if you come back from getting shot up in the war, where you're clearly a victim, but you may also be a hero. And quite another, if you're, you know, attacked on the street and become a hero by virtue of that, that seems to me to be a different category altogether. Well, and as we watch that play out in the media as it's had a roller coaster ride over the last couple of weeks, um, Buck Sexton tweets this out. He says, why should anyone trust the same national media that fell for the obvious, in his words, Jesse Smollett hoax, to be world-class detectives and unbiased truth-tellers when it comes to Trump-Russia collusion theories? Um, that